well, the humanitarian workers are doing just heroic work. Yes. I mean, to keep these people alive in, in these conditions, um, get them food and water, uh, some blankets. It is clear that it's it's never enough, but uh, they're staying alive. Yes, with such cold and skeleton staff, mm -hmm. it's a miracle, really. But but it's just clear that they they have to go back home. No question. I mean, we can continue to keep them alive and half living, but uh, they they all want to go back home. <laughs> they they want to go back to the way of life, to the way they used to be. Every person that we have spoken to has said that. There's not been one that has spoken differently. Right. And after four years mm -hmm. of this, you know, um, as, as things get as, as things get worse uh, after four years, they, they still, I mean, they want to survive and they ask for the food that they're going to eat tomorrow. But, but uh, it, uh, the solution has to be, home. you know, home, peace, protection in their own land. Uh, we're on day 14, or almost at the end of our our visit here. We get get to go back home to our comfortable homes, and uh, the, really for everybody out there, this has to be the start of, of our work. Um, for everybody that's been with us on on this journey, it, really it, we're just beginning. And now it's when the hard work begins. Um, you know, the, we we keep hearing from our leaders everything that they have done. But uh, here you have all these people here. Our future. Is it, this is the future of our world. And mm -hmm. they need to be at home, safe, protected, peaceful, mm -hmm. going to school, not little ones, carrying little ones in mm -hmm. the cold. Mm -hmm. His little, his Noemi. little daughter. Noemi. Noemi. I me, a daughter. Noemi. She keeps rocking the little one behind oh, her. Oh, <laughs> she's such a good. You're a good, 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 yeah. good sister. Take good care. Beautiful too. Oh. Look at those eyes. Mm -hmm. I hear this little one behind me. Mm -hmm. Many of the, these children, they really don't know another life except for this. So I'm, I'm sure that they've heard, they hear stories about their home and then wonder what it's like to live like that. Mm -hmm. This is just something they've never even experienced. Mm -hmm. She's like curious George. <laughs> she wonders about yeah. everything. <laughs> Look at this young man right here. Great face. Oh, he looked away. Look at right yeah. Here. Oh, I took a bunch of pictures of him in his eyes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> Very serious. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're calm here, huh? I mean, they're different from the first camps we visited, mm -hmm. definitely. Also, with the sense of um, 
so much isolation too. I think there's a, the last few weeks, you know, there's probably a real fascination with people being here right. again.